Well, good evening, St. Francis. It is 9.30 and time for Compline. The service is on page 127 of the prayer book, and the psalm this evening is Psalm 91. If you have any prayer requests, you can enter those into the comment section. Also, if you're so inclined, hit that share button. That'll give us a chance to share what we're doing with friends and families. All right, we'll give everyone a little bit more time, then we'll begin. The Lord Almighty, grant us a peaceful and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own faults, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, give us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. The Almighty God, grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. O God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High, abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God, in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. He shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, and the Most High your habitation. There shall no evil happen to you. Neither shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. May the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep us, O Lord, is the apple of your eye. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne, and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Invite your intercessions and thanksgivings at this time. We pray for Anne, for Tamia, James, John, Carol, George, Janelle, Keontae, Taekwon, and Tina. For Carol, for Brenda. For Anne. For Tanya, Randy, and Jane. We pray for Eileen, Ken, Jimmy, Becky, Lydia, Kelly, Denise, June, Minnie, Matt, Joe, Caroline, Elaine, Ken, Lolita, Ray, Twyla, Ernest, Ike, Alexandria, Tyra, Julie, Amy, Sarah, Sarah, John, Susan, Matilda, Benjamin, Nancy, Jean, Mary, Barbara, and Carol. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guide us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free. To go in peace, as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. The Almighty Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. We also pray for Bess. Okay, that is Compline. Great to see everyone. We'll be back tomorrow at 9.30 for morning prayer. Hey, until then, have a wonderful day. God bless.